They prove it right here, man. Stop trauma, nigga, DDG, man. Why, why this shit right here, man? No. It, it's not like that, though. I don't want you to feel like I'm, like, rejecting you type shit. It's just not. It's just not. You know what I'm saying? It's just no. You know what I mean? Like, I'm trying to, like, really do business with you. you know I mean? If I wanted to fuck with you, I just would fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even have brought this YouTube shit up. You know what I mean? It's not like... Why you saying yeah like that? You know what I'm saying? Fuck you mean, nigga. He ain't never liked your ugly kangaroo looking ass. Every girl that is pretty and associated with me don't mean I'm trying to fuck with them in that way. You know what I'm saying? Not or like hit that. on them or anything like that. It's not like that. I didn't try to holler at her. Did I try to holler at you? Be one hundred. No, he that didn't was on try to holler cool at me. It was like immediate business, and I was like, "All right, guys, I am back with another video. You can pause this video if you would like to read these uh, comments and these tweets." Um, okay, so DDG basically has a campaign that he has running called Get Riley to 50K. So all of her subs are unsubscribing and they're trying to get her down to 50K. And she was almost, she was close to 300K. All right, y'all, so they had a fallout. Um, a lot of you already seen this and a lot of you have not. Where Riley was saying that she started working with DDG. And she said everything was all good until she got a boyfriend. And she said then DDG got jealous. She said she took a break from YouTube. She went away with her boyfriend for about two weeks. And when she came back, she noticed that DDG had an attitude and didn't want to work with her. So, of course, he denied that. He said that he was busy and he did not have time, you know, pretty much. And she took it the wrong way. So those videos I just showed y'all is proving that, you know, he didn't, he had a professional relationship with her. He didn't seem sexually attracted to her or anything like that or interested in being with her from what I've seen. Okay. So you guys can comment below and tell me if you think something different. Um, I also wanted to say that I think this is really, really wrong for someone to do. Um, Riley even, she's still uploading videos cause she's trying to like ignore what's going on, but it's crazy how her subs are dropping. I think that's the unprofessional part. If you're going to run a business, DDG, I think you shouldn't treat your, your people like this. This is not good. This is like people talk about how mature you are and, you know, everything like that. But this is not a mature move. And this is not going to make people want to sign with you either. This is just not good for business. And also, she could sue you. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got to think about that. You are causing her to lose wages. She's losing money. And you're someone that she was working for or with. So that's just not good at all. And then Riley, um, if you come across this video, because I'm sure someone's going to send it to you. Why don't you put your subscribers on, um, put them on private for a while. That's just my advice. You don't have to do it. But I would suggest you put it on private until all of this blows over. Because people are getting a kick out of watching your subscribers go down. Now, the thing is, when they can't see how many subscribers you have, then they're not too interested in the numbers. They're not going to know who's unsubscribing and who's not. It's going to take the fun out of it. So that's up to you. But anyway, guys, comment below and tell me what you think about all of this. And I will see you guys in the comments. Let's get it. And I got another upload coming for y'all about Queen and Clarence. So look out for that as well. All right, y'all.